What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. So there's still almost guys 7 minutes remaining for the market to close. Um, but by the time we'll end this video, we would have pretty much closed with the market as well this video. So I thought this would be a better time to do it because today I want to cover AMD and SMCI earnings as well. So I'll be spending some time later in the afternoon to cover those earnings too. So. In this video, let's take a look at the price action. Is Tesla still bullish? Uh, we have a red candle today. As you know, we have been gapping up quite strongly. And is this sell-off today, does it change the structure on Tesla? Is Tesla gonna keep selling off for this whole week? Or how shall we read it? You know, is this just a pullback? So we'll talk about all of that in this video, okay? I'll take you over this options data as well. A lot of interesting stuff to, to talk about there as well. So guys, with that, Please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice it's solely for education purposes okay all right so what are we seeing here guys a red day which which is coming after we tapping out at the top of our channel now i talked about that guys as long as tesla is still above this blue box tesla is still bullish in the structure on the swing side we are above 50 days moving average. Tesla is still bullish on the swing side, the structure. It's above 20 days moving average, still bullish on the structural side. This was the first structural change, right? A confirmed one. When we got out of that green box, after this move to the upside, we started to make a higher low and we also broke that downward structure. We broke out of it, got above. Then the next structure we were watching was also this blue box that I drew yesterday as well in the pre-market. Because I said that this is where stock would do a pullback and may go up then, well, continue to go up because we had a gap up and we did that today. And this also was an important area because this is where we had these resistances which and these uh, touchdowns, liquid, liquidity grab back then, right? All this happened and then the resistance here, resistance here, flush zone, all this happened in this blue box. So that's why this is an important area. So as long as we are still above that blue box and still holding the strong, technically we are still bullish on the swing side. This is just a pull back, okay? Now, when I'll show you the options data, things are very interesting over there. So stick with me, okay? Now, uh, even if on daily, guys, even if we come to 180, we are still bullish. At this point, even if we come to 175, Yes, that's a deeper pullback, but that will still keep Tesla bullish on the structure side. So it's not going to be bearish on the swing side. Again, you have to take your pop, uh, the stop losses, the positions according to these structures with definitely the stop loss on the other side based on how you're managing your risk. If you're going in heavy over here into the long position, the pullback is not there fully yet, right? So you want to have a wider loss as well set potentially again you can have a stop loss here as well it's your choice how you want to do then you can try to re-enter here so entering sizing and sizing out portfolio management it's your choice i'm just telling you the structure until when it's still bullish in the pullback zone and accordingly you can size your position as how you like how you want to treat it if you want to trade intraday short as i'll show you today was an intraday short day what are the confirmations for that i'll show you that in just a second so technically it's all about the structure and how you are sizing and sizing out how, how are you managing your portfolio. Now, that is completely your decision. I'm here just providing my educational opinion. You are solely responsible for your own decisions and outcomes. Now, so yeah, we are still dipping into this blue box a little bit. Some more selling off coming in just in the last uh, five minutes. I'm seeing Nvidia as well in the corner there selling off. But anyways, so yeah, we are still technically bullish. I would say there will be more weakness on the pullback side if we break 180 below and gets to 175 that will still be a structural bullish but it's going to get weaker below 180 so let's talk about now uh, on the hourly interval as of what do we want to see tomorrow to see this intraday because from intraday things turns into swing uh, confirmed right so when will this pullback end on the swing side that would happen when things starts to turn intraday bullish and then that will lead into eventually to swing right so let's talk about that so this is uh, let let me take you to 30 minutes and guys one of my swing position on tesla has gotten a close signal today so let me show you that profitable 
play uh, good money made and you can see last 30 trades as well there but we got a sell play sell position today on this at 184 on this swing and the position was opened where uh, 155 dollars almost so it's a good profit on a share size of 100 shares it's a uh, 2700 dollars profit not bad again um this is just the default position size that i have put on my site but if you need access to my tools links in the description below only there i'm these are only for reference okay you are responsible on how you, you are using them and whatever okay i play no role and no part in that Links to my tools are in the description below. As I said, I have two indicators, two bots, and Wall Street alerts. All right, let's turn this thing off. So, okay, what I'm seeing that on intraday, uh, let's go to the 15 minutes actually, that may give some more clarity here. Here we go. To make things turn intraday long first to turn swing bullish again, uh, from out of this pullback, we need to get out of this trend line here, guys. Uh, this is the trend line that you got to be focusing on. We have had one pivot, two pivot, and then from today we have been just selling off of that as well. Well, we're not even capturing that fully, but this is a uh, trend line that we first need to also get out of uh, to make Tesla intraday first bullish. So this is also an intraday play for tomorrow. We want to see a support at 50 hours moving average and getting out of this trend line and then uh, eventually making our way higher tomorrow if we can close above 177 one, sorry 187 and 66 cents that sets tesla for a continuation to the upside that will mark the end of this pullback and potentially again to the upside however if tomorrow we lose 50 hours moving average or this blue box you sh you can expect more cool off guys to 175 and this cool off is like a pullback still continuing then okay so that's that's my sentiment on Tesla right now. So I'm I'm still in the bull camp. Now let me show you some data. Some data. Okay, I gave you the structure, areas to watch, and all of that. Now, guys, here's the interesting thing. Look at the calls today at 200. So gray gray is that yesterday's closing price. Black is from today's, you know, almost just the closing price. But what I'm seeing is the increase compared to the yesterday. A lot of actually traders wanted to play. I think. They went in today because they had we had a huge gap up, right? Yesterday we didn't have huge calls options at two hundred dollars. There was only twelve, twelve thousand, but today we had forty six thousand. So you can understand, right? Like so many traders are betting their money on the two hundred dollars calls option. I'm not seeing high puts though. Okay, I'm not seeing one hundred and ninety seems like you know some puts came, but not that high. Um, but these mostly looks like to me zero, not zero day to day expiration, but that happens on Friday. But these are like, uh, today is just options traded that came in today itself. Um, and so did the calls, but look at it. The calls were so high and puts I think came in later. Just my opinion though. But yeah, this is the sentiment. 180 calls are already in the money. I'm seeing a little bit of a, you know, lesser open interest on that now, you know, provided yeah, they were in the money. So so may have closed or whatever um but yeah there's less of the calls at 40 uh, at 180 now which which were yesterday in the money right so um but yeah so um yeah 200 dollars calls that's where uh you know traders were betting their most of the money but anyways that's it for this video guys we'll we have amazon uh, earnings i think as well today so i'll talk about that as well in another video then on another video will be coming out of nvidia as well uh, QQQ, again, you know, I'll do another video with the tech stocks. But as I was saying that, guys, yep, this is just a rebound and we can continue to sell off as we can't break up a blue box. We got that. And similarly on SPY, I said that if we can't recapture about 50 days moving average, this is the zone. Once we lose 547 cents, it's a continuation to the downside. We are getting that. So, all right, I'll talk more about it later. But this video was for Tesla. And let's see in the post market what it's doing. Um... I am not sure if AMD does their earnings right away at you know uh, market close or a little bit later, but I'll I want to jump over to that and then I'll take a look at that, guys. I'll talk about that as well. Oh well, uh, let's see. And is reacting in the post market. Uh, not quite sure. Well, let's see. AMD. Wow, it's already reacting, uh, but I'm not seeing anything here right now. On AMD, maybe it's gonna take a while. Okay, guys, I'll talk about it in another uh, video today. All right, take care, guys. This is for Tesla only. All right, bye. If you need access to my tools, links in the description below. All right.